So how do we solve the problem of a data lake not necessarily having the performance and guarantees that a data warehouse can provide, but how do we also solve the problem of the high cost of the storage and compute of a data warehouse platform? Well, this is where the idea of a data lake house comes in, where we try to kind of combine the factors and the best parts of both worlds. And basically the structure ends up looking something like this. You still have your data sources and we're still gonna be writing ETL pipelines to move the data from those data sources, but now we're only landing them in one place. We're landing them in the data lake, but for our structured data, so that way we can replicate the nature of a data warehouse. So this unstructured data is a separate concern. That was always gonna be a data lake thing, but for our structured data, which we would move into a data warehouse, well, what we need is a way to treat that data like data lake, like a true database table with all the same guarantees of a database table or data warehouse table. And this is where modern table formats come into play. This is where specifically something like an Apache iceberg comes into play, allowing us to be able to sit there and say, hey, these groups of files are a table or a data set that will then be able to have certain transactional guarantees when we need to update or do an insert of a record or delete a record from it. But we need to be able to discover all the different tables that we have. And that's where the catalog, a catalog like Nessie comes in. And once you have a table format and a catalog that can provide the layers of abstraction to be able to create these guarantees and functionality, well now query engines like Dremio can now perform in the same way that a data warehouse can perform on its internal storage, giving you basically the same form factor ease of use, flexibility at a lower cost by basically leveraging your data lake as a storage layer. So you only have to store the data once. And this pattern is called a data lake house. It's essentially, one way to think about it, it's a deconstructed data warehouse. You still have all the same pieces, but instead of buying all the pieces pre-bundled together, you are getting the individual pieces and bundling them together yourself and benefiting from the savings, okay? Um, and then there's lots of tools that, like Dremio that make it a lot easier to bundle those pieces together. Okay, so again, basically you take a table format that allows us to recognize, so we have like open source table formats like Apache Iceberg, we have open source catalogs like Nessie, and with those two pieces, query engines of all types, including Dremio, can now basically treat your data lake as if it were a data warehouse. It becomes sort of the same experience and the same feature set in a lot of ways. Uh, allowing you to save a lot of money on the way you do your workloads. So that is a story about what is a data lake house. But again, a key point of a data lake house is this whole concept of a table format. So in the next section of the course, we're going to focus a lot more on this table format layer, specifically Apache Iceberg and how Apache Iceberg works. I'll see you there. Have a great one.